Namaste, my name is Tarika and welcome to this under 5 minutes rejuvenating session. Let us begin with a deep long breath in through your nostrils and exhaling also through your nostrils. Feel your body relaxing away. I invite you to do a couple of more breaths like this and also close your beautiful eyes. The tutorial for Kapal Bhati is linked above and also in the comment section below. Let us begin the Kapal Bhati practice. You may place one hand on your abdomen to ensure that the rechaks and puraks are done properly. In one cycle of Kapal Bhati, swift rechaks followed by puraks are expected. Both the actions are so swift. Although none of the ancient Sanskrit yoga describes how many cycles of Rechak and Purak should be performed in one cycle of Kapal Bhati, when it is performed neatly, the Purak and Rechak should be performed for at least 21 times in a cycle of Kapal Bhati. Three such cycles may be performed in one sitting and slowly enhanced and increased depending on one's individual capacity and strength. A quick word of caution here, people suffering from heart trouble, diseases of blood circulation or lung trouble should always practice this under expert guidance. Feel free to contact us at Yog Mehel, we'd be ever so happy to help you. Between two cycles of Kapal Bhati, gradual breathing must be continued. And now moving on to the Brahmi Pranayam, sit comfortably with the tall back and shoulders relaxed. Ensure your thumb closes your ears and the rest of the fingers atop on your head. Start by taking a few natural breaths and as before, close your beautiful eyes and then keeping your lips slightly sealed, inhale through the nostrils, exhaling making the sound of the letter M, essentially a humming sound. Sustain the sound till you need to inhale, then repeat inhaling through the nose, then hum like a buzzing bee as you would exhale. The longer you sustain the humming exhalation, the more relaxed the bee breath is likely to be. But forcing your breath beyond your capacity can have the reverse effects so causing more stress. So don't force yourself to maintain any particular speed. Inhale whenever necessary and let the buzzing sound last as long as it's only comfortable for you. And finally, spend a few quick breaths sitting quietly and notice whether there are any changes in your breath and mood. If you did find value in this practice, please do share with your loved and near and dear ones. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. Namaste from my heart to yours.